welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am replacing an old 3 quarter inch PRV with 1 inch PRV. The main reason to replace this valve is that we have renovated this house and added more plumbing fixtures. We upgraded old copper water lines with new PEX pipes to make it up to code. I started with disconnecting the ground wire that was attached to the PRV and drained as much water as I could possibly drain from stop and drain valve. I'm gonna take off the PRV before I unsolder the stop and drain valve because there is water trapped under the drain of shutter valve. Always use two wrenches when you are in a situation like this. If you only use one wrench, you know what's gonna happen. You are gonna twist that pipe coming out of the floor and damage it. Here we go. It's time to warm up the joint and wait for trapped water to evaporate. Even though I still was not able to take that water out, but now when I'm warming up the joint, water is easily evaporating. And it is easier for me to remove that valve with pliers because it's way lighter. Now the water is evaporated and joint is hot enough to remove the valve. By the way, I'm using SKT99 Turbo Torch in this video. It's time to prep the pipe for new PRV. Since I'm soldering the first joint, prepping is very important. So I'm gonna sand it to remove all the old solder from it and make sure that both pipe and fitting are thoroughly cleaned. That's a cool trick to remove trapped water. PRV stands for pressure reducing valve. Pressure reducing valve reduces the high CD pressure to low pressure to make it suitable to your house plumbing. People often wonder why cities have high water pressure, which is unsuitable for their plumbing system. The answer is simple. Imagine living at the highest hill in the city. It takes a lot of pressure to push that water up the hill. If the city distribution system has low water pressure, the houses on the lower elevation will have higher water pressure than the houses up the hill. So to keep the water pressure even throughout the entire distribution system, cities must have high water pressure.
I soldered three quarter inch MIP and applied Teflon tape and piped up to the threads. You might be wondering why I am installing one inch bushing on three quarter inch water service. The reason is that the water service will also be upgraded for this house soon. So just to make it future proof, we will be installing one inch PRV and to make it code appropriate. The very first thing I'm installing is a shut-off valve, then a spring check valve, and then PRV. Higher pressure is not ideal for plumbing systems. You must install a PRV if the city pressure exceeds 80 PSI, as per the code. It is recommended to install a PRV even where the pressure is in the proximity of 60s. Because of water and energy saving benefits it can provide. Ideal water pressure for a house is between 45 to 55 PSI. It allows the use of multiple plumbing fixtures at the same time, without damaging any plumbing. For example, you can shower while your cloth washer is running. High pressure in plumbing systems causes many issues, such as leaking or banging water pipes, leaking faucets or water heaters, and it reduces the lifespan of equipment in the system. However, high pressure municipal water is advantageous for firefighting. Next question is, how would you know if you have high water pressure? The best and the most accurate way is to buy a pressure gauge, which is around 20 bucks. There are several other indicators such as banging pipes, leaky fixtures, loud noise of water running through appliances, less hot water, and expensive water bills because you are running more water. Now I am connecting new PAX lines to our PRV station. Before we only had one half inch copper line connected to the PRV. But now we have one one inch, one three quarter inch PAX lines coming for hot and cold water 
and one half inch pex line is serving the outside hose bib. I also installed a 3 8 shadow valve to drain the lines in the future. Finally, it's time to install back the ground wire to copper water service. Make sure you have PRV installed if you have high pressure city water and also ensure that it's working properly. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.